Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. And today we've got a bit of a different test for us today. Thomas is still gonna hit shots. We're still gonna use TrackMan to gather some data, but we're gonna be comparing golf balls, particularly range balls, and then Thomas's Gamer, a premium golf ball, the Callaway Chrome Soft X. So uh, this will be a little bit different. We have some comments kind of suggesting and maybe asking us what is the difference between hitting a range ball and a premium ball. We're gonna find out today. Uh, we got three clubs to hit. Thomas will kind of give us the details on that, but uh, I'm excited and very curious to see. We've had, we've done a ball test in the past where we kind of had a range ball in there. I think we had five or six golf balls in this test, but this one will focus on range balls and then a premium golf ball. So Thomas, what do you expect to see here and what clubs are we gonna hit? So firstly, I'm excited to take that normalization button off. So yeah. we're gonna probably see a little bit of a, a range. I'm not sure if the range ball is going to go further or less distance with wedge or drive or anything like that. It's gonna be interesting to take a look at the spin, the launch angle, yeah. um, and just kind of see kind of what happens with regards to feel is probably not gonna feel very good. No. That's gonna be the, right. the big thing. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit three shots with 52, seven iron, and driver. Three okay. shots with a premium golf ball, the Chrome Soft X, three shots with a range ball. Take a look at the numbers and kind of see the differences essentially. Yeah, so I mean, in, in, to, what, you know, in terms of expectations, there isn't really a lot. I kind of, my gut is maybe lower spin, maybe. Um, but then, you know, we've, I remember in that earlier test we did is the, the driver seemed to kind of compete, right? It seemed to be pretty similar. So yep. we'll see how, how things work out. Um, we should note, you know, these balls are very, built very different. So, you know, a range ball is kind of a two piece construction. It's just the cover, kind of a hard cover, and then sort of a material in the inside. And then a premium ball like the Chrome Soft X, it's kind of a softer cover, and then two more layers on the inside to kind of add compression to the golf ball. So these are built very differently. But there are a lot of different materials, construction inside there that should change things quite a bit. So uh, I'm excited to see what happens. Yes, yeah, so you mentioned the word compression. So when you have added compression to a, to a golf ball, the ball, golf ball is gonna stay on the club face longer. Yeah. If it stays on the club face longer, it's going to cause that ball to spin a little bit, little bit more and give you a little bit better control on the, okay. on the golf ball. If there's not much compression on that on that golf ball, for example, a, rain, a range ball, yeah. it's hard, yeah. it's not very, very soft, um, it's going to probably come, come off that club face pretty fast, maybe slide up the face and then yeah. probably cause more of a kind of a knuckleball effect is what right. I typically would expect. Probably more with a club that has more loft on it than a club that has less loft on it. Got it, okay. Okay, interesting. Yeah, we've got some expectations in place, but um, of course, you know, and range balls are different from course to course, so these are the range balls for this course in particular, but uh, I'm excited to see what we find out here, so let's get to it. Sounds good. Okay, Thomas, looks like we're starting with a wedge, and we're starting with your uh, Callaway Chrome Soft X ball here, so, um, you know, what should we expect numbers-wise from a 52-degree wedge here? I think the big thing we'll probably pay attention to is spin. So I'm going to expect the spin with the premium golf ball with my 52 to probably be nine to 10,000 RPM to spin. Okay. Yep. And then what would that, I mean, I guess, you know, range balls kind of fluctuate. I mean, we have, you know, all the range balls from one place here, but you know, depending on the course, uh, it might fluctuate a little bit, but would you say range balls maybe are more or less spin than that? I would guess they're going to spin less with the wedge. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see what happens sure. then, huh? Alright. Alright, that was three with the, your standard, or your, I guess, the 52 degree gamer wedge in your bag, and then the Callaway Chrome Soft X golf balls. Just a quick review of those numbers. Average spin rate was 91, 93. Uh, carry distance 121, total 123.6. Um, you know, smash factor 1.17. So that's kind of the overview of three shots, Callaway Chrome Soft X. And um, again, you kind of expected the spin rate to maybe drop a little bit with the range balls here. Well, we'll see what happens. Like you said, it maybe depends on what type of range ball. That's true. But I think the important thing when we're talking about with this is a little bit related to if you're doing a fitting with a range ball, it's probably not going to work out so hot, hot with the yeah. wedge, essentially what I'm going to say. Okay. Because, so, I mean, it's, it's one of those things that's kind of unpredictable and it yeah. 
I think what we're going to hope, I mean, what we're expecting to see is that the numbers aren't going to translate well to the course, right? Because if you're playing a different golf Correct. ball versus a range ball, that's what we're trying to get at, get at here. And maybe we're wrong. Maybe, yeah. hey, maybe the range balls are the exact same in, uh, in performance and this that'll be the revolution of this video. But I would say the way to keep it predictable would be to get fit with the ball that you play. Right, right which is I know yep. what Second Swing will preach is they'll yep. ask right away what kind what of ball do you play. play. Yep. And then that'll be in the fitting. But okay. for the sake of this test, range ball's next. Sounds good. That one especially is up there. Wow. Mm. Well, Thomas, I think right away we noticed how high this thing launched and how high, really the peak height seemed to be much higher. Mm -hmm. um, and then you also mentioned low spin. And sure enough, that spin is dramatically lower with the uh, range balls. So, I mean, we're talking 5,000 RPM average of difference there. So, uh, I mean, you're, with the range balls, the distance was actually quite farther, much farther as well. Carry distance five yards further, and the total distance was 12 yards further because mm -hmm. There's no spin There's on the no ball, spin on so the ball. Yep. that is, you know, and that's also uh, a 15, uh, actually 20 um, feet of difference in, in peak height. So it's 103 average with the, the range balls, 85 with the um, with your gamer Chrome Soft X. So yeah. that is, that's a big difference right away here in this test. So with a range ball with kind of like like the two piece construction, yeah, it felt like and. It, the golf ball is just not staying on that club face very long. Yeah. When you have a softer, more premium golf ball, the ball is going to stay on that club face. Yeah. It's going to compress a little bit better. It's going to cause the ball to spin, maybe mm -hmm. launch a little lower and spin right. and feel like you have better control. With the range ball, which felt awful, by the way, because it <laughs> felt like it just flew off the face right up in the air, it's just not going to be very good for a wedge fitting. It's right. just not. You can see the numbers difference right there. Oh, how, yeah. How could I fit a wedge fitting if I'm only spinning it at 4,000 RPMs? Right. That's, uh, I mean, that's, these, yeah, like you said, the, the urethane soft cover of the premium balls does kind of grab the grooves on the face of the wedge just a little bit more efficiently, and that does create that more spin in the compression, like you're saying. Uh, the dispersion, too, now, I mean, this the dispersion isn't necessarily part you know it's it, user it, it's, maybe. it's yeah. useful but it's the left to right dispersion of that 52 degree um, w with the range balls is pretty large okay whereas it's more of a a north to south dispersion difference with the chrome soft decks but um the yeah i mean the, these numbers are pretty spectacular to, to see the differences there like 5,000 rpm difference with a range ball and that was just you know, not like you struck any of them bad or yeah. it wasn't anything like that. It was just your normal stock swing. And right away we saw that launch go way up. Um, it mean, only took one shot to say no. No, nope. <laughs> it just did I mean, that's not That's a 10 degree difference in launch good. angle. It just looked like a moon ball. Yeah, yep. 10 degree difference in launch yep. angle. It's unbelievable. But uh, now we can get to, we'll try 7 iron here and yep. see if the, those differences kind of carry over. Let's see, kind of, it'd be interesting to see what happens with the 7 iron. Yeah. yeah. Thomas, you're swinging pretty pure today. Yeah, those six swings were actually, with the seven iron, were pretty good. Very, yeah. very solid. Yeah, that, they had to almost be on top of each those other. Those are all, and, and they're not only just like on top of each other, but they're right like right next to the center line. So, I mean, those are probably four or five birdies out there. Um, now, to bring up the numbers. So, one thing I noticed right away, this isn't a numbers thing. This is just a sound thing, like clicky and loud with the range ball compared to the Chrome Soft X, yeah. which is expected, but... It was immediately right on the first strike with the seven iron there. I noticed that. So I'm sure you noticed something similar in feel. Feel, yeah. I mean, there's something about hitting a range ball and then hitting a premium ball. It just, it 
just just yeah just rock on the, off the club face yeah and, but what surprised me was the ball flight seemed a little more similar with the with the mm. golf with the range ball and the premium ball like it was a little yeah. more consistent right like everything with, with really the wedge, was with the wedge it was launched low with the premium ball and spin and then with the range ball it was launched high and not much spin it looked like it was more in the same window Right, it was. Everything was pretty similar, which is almost that surprising. Uh, you know, your, your spin with the range balls was 6805 on average, which is about 300 RPM lower than the Chrome Soft X. Height-wise, you had an increase in height of 10 feet with the range ball. So, um, you know, these, it's not, you know, the, the launch angle went up by 1.3 degrees. So. Not the differences that we nearly saw with, or not nearly the differences we saw with the wedge. Um, I mean, I don't really know what to expect with the driver now, because like, <laughs> it's, yeah. you know, we, we get very similar numbers with the seven iron. The wedges are just completely two different stories. I, I'm curious. So this really intrigues me as a fitter, just thinking about all those courses that have their demo days on the range yeah. and everything like that. I mean, first off, that I mentioned range with range balls with a wedge fitting, it's just a no-no. Yeah. Just can't be done. Yeah. But with a seven iron, you, it's given pretty similar numbers. So yeah. maybe you can rely on those numbers a little bit more with a seven iron fitting. So if you've got an iron fitting on 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 the range with range balls, it probably is not far off. Right. That's what yeah. I'm saying. That's yeah. what the, I mean. That's what these numbers show yeah. us. And those swings again, we should mention again. Those swings were as repeatable as it gets. You know, pretty darn close there. So. Um, now with driver, you know, I, I, anything goes, right? Like I could, anything could happen here. Uh, with a firmer, like you said, a two-piece ball, maybe that thing goes farther, flies, you know, with less spin. Um, well, I, we'll see. I have no idea. Yeah, so we did a golf ball test yes. earlier on in the year. And from what I recall, the range ball numbers were kind of similar, just a little shorter than the more yeah. premium ball, but it was kind of kind of similar. Mm -hmm. um, we did a whole bunch of different golf balls. We right. did as far back as I think it was the the Ballada or the Tour yeah. Professional or something like that. Yeah. They didn't, nearly didn't go as far. No, that, that thing was that but, thing probably dropped 20, 30 yards yeah. in the drive, I remember correctly. Yeah. And then we had like a ladies ball. We had like a Titleist Velocity, kind of a modern, but also yeah. two piece ball. So we had that one, but this is kind of just. You know, if you're going to go on the range and warm up before a round and you're like, well, that ball's flying a little different. You know, we're kind of seeing that difference here with this test. So, yeah, so and uh, with the seven iron, there wasn't much of a difference. Yeah. So ball speed and spin will be the two interesting ones that I'll kind of want to pay attention to here. Yeah. With the driver? With yeah. the driver, yep. That one is tattooed. Yeah, that was, that last one, Thomas, was smoked. Not bad considering it's like 47 degrees out right now <laughs> with a normalization button off. It's not too bad. Yeah, you I mean you're yeah. carrying it over 280 yards and it's chilly out, so that's that's a good start there. And you know these driver numbers again, more or less what you would expect. Um, 2300 spin, which is about the sweet spot for you. Yep. 277 carry, 303 total, launch angle 12.2, height 105. So, yeah, these are, you know, your ball speed and the club speed. Oh, the ball speed is what you were really trying to touch on was 166.8, smash factor 149. Okay. So, um, I know you like those numbers, so Good we'll numbers. see what the uh, range ball does for us here and if anything changes. Okay. Higher bull flight there again too. Hit it well, straight. So yeah, Thomas. I mean, I think that first swing that you had with the range ball was smoke. I think that might have been the farthest one so far. Um, and then the other two that you hit afterwards, the ball just kind of sailed in the air a little bit higher. And you mentioned maybe that it could have been the fact that there's less grip from the ball and maybe slid up the face just a little bit when 
you know, impact was made. It's, it's kind of what it felt like. I mean, it's hard to know when you're swinging at 112 miles an hour what it's really kind of off, right. off the club face. It feels like a rock, for one. It feels, doesn't feel very good off yeah. the, on my hands. But I didn't notice that. It just looked like it was just all instantly just going high and then just kind of sailing. Yeah. Maybe a little more spin. I know the first one was a really good number. Right. But then the other two maybe weren't quite as consistent there as well. Yeah. yeah. So looking at the numbers briefly here first of all the dispersion by the way your carry dispersion with the range balls is like the smallest circle it's like it rivals that 700 so <laughs> i mean that's incredible um you had just one out there to the left with the chrome soft deck yep. but otherwise you got five driver swings that are within you know they're gonna be easy to find out there looking at the numbers the spins actually very similar you got 2193 with the range balls and 2321 with the chrome soft deck okay. so they're they're pretty similar again the only difference seems to be just the height i mean you added math in my head here 25 feet roughly of height with the range balls which uh and i i mean i noticed it right away with that second ball just kind of a little bit higher in the air and i'm trying to look at launch angle here you know 1.3 degree of difference so it's not like it's a launch angle is doing some of that i don't know if it's just the ball and the way that the ball mm -hmm. design just flies a little bit higher in the air yeah so seven irons i'd say a good to go Rain, on fitting wise with range balls. Driver, you know, if you're trying to fit someone into a, a, a driver will get in the correct loft. Yeah. I mean, one, one and a half degrees of loft difference makes a huge difference. Right. That goes from me fitting myself for a sub-zero driver to maybe a standard driver. If I'm trying to chase that spin or that launch or that, right. essentially. So it's kind of make, gonna make a huge difference there, especially right. if the launch angle, um, this goes from maybe nine to 10 degrees loft. Right. I mean, if you see someone on the range, like I, you know, if I'm fitting somebody, I wouldn't fit anybody with my expertise necessarily. But let's say I fit somebody for a driver and I'm watching them hit it 140 feet in the air. I'm going to say, well, let's knock that thing down. You know, here's, a, here's an eight degree driver around. and get them to see on the golf course and he's just sending smaller hooks or yeah. low, low, yeah, low exactly. shots all, all day. So, yeah, so that's why it's probably important. I'd say premium balls, driver, wedges, um, yeah. irons, you probably could get away with a little bit. Okay, yeah. Yeah. interesting. Well, yeah. um, that was kind of our first synopsis. I really want to give this to you and okay. kind of see if there's any further takeaways from your fair perspective here. Sounds good. All right, Thomas, you've got the data. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about some initial takeaways, just ripping through the data really quick, but what do you see now that you've looked at it a little bit more? Yeah, so let's start with the 52 degree wedge. So first thing we notice is with the Chrome Soft X versus the Range Bull, a little higher efficiency, so 1.17 versus 1.14. Yeah. Um, but then what really kind of stands out to me is the spin rate. When you've got 9,200 RPMs of spin to 41 So double the amount of spin with a more premium bolt golf ball. Yeah. When you have a wedge that spins at 4,100 RPMs, that's trouble. Yeah, that is not yep. your standard wedge spin, I know, yep. uh, just from doing our own videos and really, I mean, it's just kind of sense. The, the wedge is going to spin a ton. Yep. The way you hit down the ball and compress the golf ball. And for whatever reason, the range ball just did not compress and spin nearly, you know, what you would expect out of a 52 degree wedge with your full swing. Yeah, so naturally the ball rolls out more when there's less spin. So it yep. rolled out nine yards, almost 10 yards, when it only rolled out two yards with the, yeah. with the premium ball. So big difference there with regards to where it lands and where it stops and where it releases out to. Yep. Um, launch angle. This is amazing. This is a huge, huge difference. Uh, Chrome Soft X launch was 25 degrees. Okay. Premium, sorry, range golf ball was 33 degrees. So we're talking about eight to nine degrees yeah. in the launch angle alone. And it's a little bit to do with the grip on the, on the ball when you've got a more premium golf ball with compressors stays on the club face longer yep with a uh range golf ball it's a, it's a rock it's just gonna yeah. glide up that club face and it's gonna go all kind of way way yeah. up in there and we noticed that when we were hitting it just kind of took off and then we can kind of see the height difference flew uh, about 18 feet higher in the air with the range ball than the yeah. um chrome soft x yeah that's what was so. right away the first your first swing with the range ball we kind of noticed that thing shot way up in the air a little bit higher than the chrome soft x shots were so and then we looked at the numbers a little bit more and sure enough you know, we had a lower spin really helped that thing kind of shoot in the air too yep. so uh that was you know some stark differences there from the wedge we noticed that right away 
and that further dive into the numbers shows it, you know, and you mentioned it already a couple times, but a wedge fitting with range balls is just not going to be an accurate fitting for a golfer. So yep. important to, you know, if you're getting, getting fit, to, important to use the golf ball that you actually play. Yeah, don't do it. Don't <laughs> do it with, with, with range balls. Uh, seven iron. So there was quite a transition here. Well, compared to like the 52 degrees, yeah. seven iron numbers were actually kind of similar, Yeah. which kind of surprised me. Um, so both speed, 128.4, 128.1. So they both were basically identical with regards to the ball speed and efficiency, 141, 142. Mm -hmm. So very, very, very similar there. Chrome Soft X did just spin about 300 RPMs more than the range ball, but it's not to the point where it was spinning four or 5,000 right, right. less. Those differences so, are yep. minimal compared to what we saw at the wedge. Yep. So carry distance and total distance were basically the same. 175, 176, going 184, essentially. Yeah. And then if we look at the dispersion on the left, you can see they were basically all on top of each other. So range and range balls and Chrome Soft X were mm -hmm. very, very good. But for guys, the carry numbers, um, if we look at launch angle, the range ball did launch about 1.3 degrees higher than the Chrome Soft X. Okay. Um, and flew about 10 feet higher, but not quite as big or different right. as we saw with the wedges. It's not something oh. just outrageous, right? Like we saw with the wedge. It's, yeah. it, these differences are very minimal um, with the range ball and the chrome soft X with the seven iron. So yeah. um, that's kind of, you know, I think surprising too. I mean, maybe not as surprising as when we saw the differences with the wedge, but I think it's still something to take away is that seven irons off the range, you know, with a range ball or your premium ball, not a ton of difference there, but um, then we did see, moving up to the driver, we did see some more differences there, particularly as it, became, uh, as it pertains to the height. Yeah, so really interesting. Um, I, did, I swung like half an hour an hour faster with the, with the range ball, and I did get about two miles an hour more ball speed. So really interesting, I got more ball speed with the range ball. The big difference was that launch angle and the height. So it yep. launched about degree, degree and a half higher with a range ball than the premium ball and flew 26 feet higher with a range ball. So yeah. that's where it gets a little tricky to try and fit with a range ball with the driver. It's getting the correct loft for, for a player to, on, on the club head. Mm -hmm. That's when it gets a little tricky. And we talked about briefly about if you're trying to fit someone to get the right loft, take them out on the golf course after seeing them hitting moon balls on the range right. and give them an eight degree driver. They're not going to get that thing very high out with a more premium boy on the course. Right. Big kind of difference there with regards to height, getting fit for the right loft on the driver. Maybe I'd, I'd definitely lean towards more using more premium golf ball with the, yeah. with the drivers and the wedges. You can maybe get away if it's okay on with the irons, but I still would just fit, yeah, fit just with a more premium ball. For the <laughs> sake of consistency, yeah. right. Yeah, so yeah. Thomas, this was some great information. Uh, this is a test that I don't think we necessarily envisioned doing something like this, but it's definitely one we had some comments suggesting what was the difference there between a range ball and, and a premium ball. Well, there it is, uh, especially with wedges, it's kind of big. So um, that's some great information. And Thomas, thank you for hitting all the shots and breaking down the data. Uh, I know I learned a lot here. Yeah, not a problem. I, I learned a lot too. I'm really surprised with the <laughs> difference in the wedges for sure.